Hey, what's up guys? Chaos Theory here, and in this video I wanted to teach you how to effectively mod Fallout New Vegas. Um, this is going to be knowledge that pretty much any any modder that heavily mods um, Fallout New Vegas will know. Um, I've gotten really addicted to modding Fallout New Vegas because it's so much fun. Um, and if you don't have either Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas, I have both. But they are awesome games, as well as... Um, Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. I've heard that um, the Elder Scrolls 3 and below are a little bit better, but I don't know about that, so I haven't really played them, so I can't really say anything about that. Anyways, so first of all, um, I'm going to be modding Fallout New Vegas because it's the most recent one, but um, I'll just show you. Um, you'll need to know the two nexuses, which is um, two sites that... Um, which are the primary modding um, sites that you want to get mods from. Um, they're the main ones, and um, I'll just show you those. So, um, for Fallout 3, it's just Fallout3Nexus.com, or for Fallout New Vegas, it is NewVegasNexus.com, which is the one I'm going to be going to. Um, they did have a... Um, website change it used to be a lot different so I might not know it as well but I've gotten the gist of the new layout um, already anyway so as you can see it's pretty nice so there's a lot of mods and um, to be honest it's kind of a pain that um, if you put in so many mods and they start conflicting with each other and you just completely mess up your game um, it might not seem like that would happen but trust me it is a pain to deal with a lot of mods so there are a couple of essential tools that you must have if you're planning on putting more than basically one mod into the game um, these you you should download these if you plan on modding so the first one is fallout mod manager um, look that up um, this one is both on Fallout 3 and New Vegas Nexus. They are the same thing. Um, there's one Fallout Manager for both of the games. You can choose which game you want to mod at the time. But these are essential. So here you want to go into the file section which is right here. You can go into the images section if you want to see some images. Um, there's from author and then if you click from users these are the um, from the images that users have posted and then these are just from the peop the the poster of the mod also if you want to look at the comments to see if like everybody's like oh my god this is an amazing mod or wow this mod didn't do shit for me this mod destroyed my game it's always nice to look at a couple of them um, the comments just to see on uh, people's reactions to it. You can also see um, how many endorsements it has. That's basically a like to the mod. Um, and there's forms. This is basically what this is, except it's categorized. Um, tags and mirrors. You don't really need to worry about those. So, first of all, download this. Fallout Mod Manager. Download it. Um, install it. Um, it should be ver fairly simple to install. And you shall get this. I have it set to automatically go to New Vegas. Um, when you see it, you will see the ESM, which is called a master file of the game. Um, and then there's ESPs, which are, I guess you could say, like, just normal files. Um, some files might need a certain master up here for it to run correctly and you need to fulfill that or else the game will crash right as you boot it um, so yeah um, if you don't install any mods you should only see Fallout New Vegas um, plus any DLCs you have I have the four main DLCs um, I don't have like the gun runners extra commands because really if you want to do that just buy just get a mod and I have to pay for it Anyways, I also have these mods, which are mods that I did not install with the Fallout Mod Manager. I just put them into the uh, the normal files, um, the normal area. Um, 
uh, for you should only do that for mods that it's just like one ESP. There's no like terrain files or anything else that would be conflict or would um, be installed into it. If it's just one file, then you can just throw it in there because it's easy to uninstall that way. Like these, they are very easy to install and uninstall. So don't worry about that. Anyways, so that's the first thing you need: Fallout Mod Manager. The next thing you need is New Vegas or Fallout Script Extender. This is a um, scripting kind of. It's a mod that you can't download off the Nexus that you need to download because almost every single mod on these Nexuses require it for it to run correctly. So what you want to do is, um, if you have Fallout um, 3, you want to go F O S E silver silverlock.org or if you have new vegas just take the fo and turn it into nv nvse dot org. download that like that um, open it and then take whatever that is and i have it in the steam apps common fallout new vegas throw it in here like throw all of these files you want to put in the steam loader the nvsvloader.exe and then these two files um, the DLLs in there don't worry about the SRC which is source um, you don't really want to mess with that um, that's for people for modders that need um, custom versions of it for their mods so just throw those in there and you'll be done with that um, that's a very necessary mod and the last one is um, for for Fallout 3, it's FO3 Edit, uh, which is at the Nexus. Right here, this is the Fallout 3 Nexus. Um, or for New Vegas, it's whoops, FNV Edit. Right here. Um, right here. And these are very powerful programs. Um, I'll show you how to use the very general idea of how to use these. Um, this is made so that you can uh, troubleshoot any conflicts and you can make it you can resolve um, a lot of the conflicts that you'll have between mods with this uh, edit uh, program. So download the main files and don't download any of the old versions. Just download that. Take those. Um, normally you can put them wherever but um, if it's having troubles just throw it into the Fallout New Vegas folder. Um, once you have FNV edit, you want to um, make two. Let me just delete these. You want to make this copy, paste twice, rename one as FNV or FO3 master update, and then and the other one, FNV or FO3, Master Restore. And just have those in the same area. And this will come with it. Just keep it with it. And like it says, keep it with the XE and don't mess with it otherwise. Anyways, so once you have all those, you are now set up to start um, downloading mods. So let's go find a nice mod to install. So, I have most of these already. Angel Park. No. Ooh, Legion Power Armors. I heard that's pretty sick. Yeah, those look really nice. So you can look at the vi videos. Oh, I want those. Never. I never saw those before. Oh, and a quick shout out. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm really random. But um, the Tuninator. Just look it up on YouTube. Um, he has a mods of the week. Hey guys, this is the Tuninator. Um, he has a mod of the week. Um, a series going on. I usually watch them if you're too busy not to be looking at the Nexus every single day. So um, that's pretty nice. So um, 
this is yeah I actually saw that off of this one so this is why I want to take it anyways so let's do download uh, main file fixed ESP not need a new file so I'm just looking at this okay we only need the main file so let's just click on that um, there's going to be a on Disney XD. Warriors, are you ready for battle? All six teams. Things. Sharks, Jaguars, Dragons, Vipers, Falcons, Scorpions. In a competition of strength. We're going to go all out. Speed and skill. We're the will to go to the end. We'll battle each other. We're going to eat the Falcons for breakfast. And their greatest fears. The Yellow Scorpions don't fear anything. With only one. Clear shot, clear shot. Winning the title, Conquerors of the Fort. Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge premieres Monday night at 8:30, 7:30 Central on Disney XD. Well, that was awesome. So once the the ad is done, um, you click on either one. Um, it might think that you should go with the one with the least users. Um, that's not usually right because the one with the least user users usually means that it's a slow, uh, server with. Um, less bandwidth so I found you just want to take one of the general ones um, I'm not gonna do Washington DC I'm gonna do Seattle because that's west coast and I'm the closest to Seattle so kinda makes sense probably not but it shouldn't really matter so then it should say downloading file wait for it to start downloading and then it shall start downloading so um, as that is going I will show you the New Vegas file manager or package manager my bad so this is the file mod manager like I said before um, here we got the tools um, you don't really need to touch any of these except maybe for the save games folder which shows you like which mods were installed with that save game um, which helps if you have a save game like you installed the mod that um, like a mod that adds a new area and then you're in that area and then you decide to uninstall it this will tell you is um, that will be a major problem and that you can't use that save anymore without that mod so that's pretty helpful and also you can export loaded orders that are saved within the saves that's pretty nice also um, FO3 and FMV edit you can access it from the tools section right here um, like I said I'll get into that later so we'll let that terminate anyways um, load order we'll get into that later game settings you can set all the game settings um, from here all the graphic settings from here which is really nice I'm not gonna lie so once you have that all done um, let's see you can check for updates it's been kinda buggy for me so I'm not gonna touch that <laughs> Uh, you can look at the forums, you can view the readme, all that. So, um, main file legion, I'll get to that later. So, the thing that I love about package managers is that you can, once you um, fixed up a mod and added it to the package manager, which you can see I have a lot of mods, you can activate all the mods, and then if you want to go to the vanilla game, you don't have to delete everything and start all over. You just click deactivate all, all the mods go away, you have the vanilla version of um, Fallout New Vegas. So it's that simple, it's easy install, easy uninstall, which is why you always want to be using Fallout Mod Manager for your mods. So um, I'm going to show you how to turn a, a mod that you download from the Nexus straight into um, Fallout New Vegas, or Fallout Mod Manager. So let's take this main file legion armors. So we look into this. You see we have a textures folder, a meshes folder, and two ESPs. Um so what oh wow. Go to the download section. So what we want to do is what I do is that you want to go out and make a folder for mods right here. Um, New Vegas and put that in there. So now let me explain kind of what you'll see in general in these mods, in a lot of the mods. Um, most of them will be um, just meshes and characters and just it all fil filed out. Um, some other times it will be a 
ESP and a BSA, like this one, ESM and a BSB, BSA. Um, this means that all the textures and the meshes and all that stuff is um, put in this BSA to make it easier for um, to uninstall because you don't have to deal with all that for people who just like throwing it in the um, Fallout New Vegas folder. Um, you can still turn those into the file, the mod manager, but um, I'll show you that later. So now we need to get into faux mods. The faux mods are the file manager files. Um, basically when you decide to make, um, well let me just say this, all of these, these are faux mods that I've created or were already created to be faux mods such as this one. Um, this one all you need to do is click on it and it will be loaded up there. So, um, faux mods are actually just zip files with the faux mod extension so that will be um, recognized with the Fallout Mod Manager. So if you just take that and turn it into 7z like that, it'll just be the normal um, mod. I mean, there's not much difference if you want to install it manually like that. So, yeah. That's faux mods for you. Anyways, so let's get back into the package manager. Um, so we have the Legion Power Armors, and it's already set up correctly. Um, if you go into one and it has a data folder like that, go into the data folder, collect all of the um, the stuff that's inside the data folder, and just paste it outside of the data folder, and then delete the data folder. Um, the data folder you should not have it there. So from there, just delete the data folder, such as that. Okay, anyways, so to create a faux mod, you select add faux mod. Um, it needs to be a zip file or a faux mod file, uh, depending on what you have. Um, so I'm going to collect Legion Power Armors. Click on that. Um, no, let's not make a copy of the original file. And now it'll take that and create the faux mod right there. So our faux mod is created. Um, another note to add is that if you click on the right and you hit uh, um, hit um, create from folder, you can select a folder such as um, Fallout New Vegas redesigned. You just say OK and it'll create a faux mod out of that. I don't need to create a faux mod, but that's a good thing to know. So if you need to mess around with files and you don't want to re-zip all the files, just do that. Anyways, from that, let us uh, start installing mods. So we'll start with, we'll just go down auto incremental save. Um, we'll install that. Um, that allows it to save like every 20 seconds without me having to worry about it. It's really nice because um, if the game crashes, you don't lose all your uh, progress. You just lose maybe like up to like 19 seconds of it, basically. So install the World of Pain. Um, no. Mm, yeah. Okay. Uh, we also want to install Cinematech. Um, because this was a faux mod in the beginning, it'll have a... Um, install script installed in it so just follow the script and it'll install and wait for it wait for it um yes let's do it okay custom lighting overlay um let me think. I can't really see it that well. Yeah, let's do it. Um, detailed normals, I love that. So we'll install that. Detailed normals. Well, anyways, you get the idea. I'm going to pause it, and I'll be back once I have installed all the mods out.
and we are back I have installed all the mods it took a very long time so it probably will take a very long time if you have all these mods so um once you have all your mods installed you get to deal with this um, this is called the load order and it is a pain so first of all we need to um, load all the things so let's put them all in um, probably Nevada cyberware and rebalance put those no we'll leave that there so you have all of these um, also I know you only need one of those and um, clicked on so from that what should we do so once you have all these installed um, you have the ESM or the master files usually um, on the top and then the ESPs are usually um, or and the ESMs are bold and the ESPs are not um, mine's kind of messed up for I'll get into why later but it doesn't really matter anyways so the first thing you want to go is go up to load order and click on boss auto sort yes um, this will make it so that um, everything's a little bit more clean um, everything will work a lot better um, trust me you need you should use that as much as possible so once that is done um, the load order should be okay um, if you have a mod that says use this specific load order um, try to match that mod and everything but um in general this should be okay to run um, so after you do that that's pretty good so once you have all that done you have a couple more steps and then you are solid and you are good so first of all you need to go to FMV edit and now we get to go into FMV edit and talk about it so first of all this will um, match should match your load order so once you just look it over that and see if everything's okay, just click OK. Wait for this to load. Um, a little note, at times it may come back with an error message. Let's see if I get one. Oh, yep, I got an error message. Um, so let's see why. Um, this is how you debug the um, your load order, which is a very nice way to debug the load order. So let's see. Um, ambient temperature, loading file. Oh, okay. I see what I did. So in one of my mods, it was looking for a specific master file for it to work, and I do not have that file. So we'll uncheck that because I don't have the file and I don't need that. So let's run it again. And this is just one process that you need to go through. I'm just reloading your. Um, mods over and over go over again. Oh, Electro City. I forgot about a lot of these, so you I don't have Inquis Wasteland spawns installed, so I get to skip that. So now we get to run it again. Let's try it again. Um, so this is a great way to um, make sure that everything is working. Um, before you load up the game it crashes instantly on you you're just like what what's happening why is it not working um, this is a great way to debug it so this is the first step and a very useful um, use for uh, FNV edit so let's see okay it's loaded all the way through that means that we have an okay load order so once everything is loaded right click and say create merged patch um, what a merged patch is is that um, it is a patch that um, keeps all the data data of conflicts within um, the load order and because of that um, the game will be able to resolve conflicts without you even having to do anything about it so it's a very good thing to have I'm gonna call it MP for a merged patch um, create that it should be on the bottom so we have mp.esp so once you say that um, just click out and say yes save the changed files and then go out of it and then click on it again um, reload fallout mod manager 
Um, they really should add a refresh button into Fallout Mod Manager. Um, it would be really nice, but they don't have it yet, so um, you're going to have to close it out and reload it. Anyway, so once that's done, you have one more step to do. Well, actually, two more steps if you're starting out, but um, you want to click on FMV Master Update. What this will do is that it'll set everything as a master of each other which will allow for um, greater compatibility between mods and it'll just make it run better so just click on that every single time you change your mod order mod order um, if you don't um, it will freak out on you so and if you do want to change your mod order and you want to figure it out um, just click on master restore and it'll return it to its normal state so this is it before the master update and with it with the master update everything will be bold such as this everything that was selected so once you have it this way um, this means that your order is touched your everything's ready to go um, everything's ready to be loaded but there's one last thing I'd recommend doing it's not necessary but it's very nice um, is to download fallout full screen alt tab fix so just go into here and type in Fallout Full Screen. Just look that up. Nothing. Alt Tab Fix. Alt Tab Fix maybe? Yeah, there we go. Fake Full Screen Mode Windowed. Alt Tab Fix. Alt Tab Fix. So what this is is this is an executable that you use to um, load up Fallout New Vegas. Um, what this does is that it takes it so that um, you have a windowed windowed version of the game loading like a full screen version of the game, which um, allows for less uh, crashes and allows for um, you to actually alt tab without you destroying the game. So this is an almost necessity. So download it and then put it into the Fallout New Vegas folder, which I have right here, and then load it, uh, make a shortcut and put it on the desktop or load it onto your uh, dock if you have one or onto your, um, what do they call this, the taskbar. Um, put that on there, whatever. And once you have that, you are ready to go. And when you want to load the game, load up Steam, and then click on to the Fallout's full screen mode um, with the nice little icon and everything. Just click on that and let it load. It also auto-loads uh, New Vegas script and sender and makes it so that um, you're running on f uh, full 4 gigabytes of memory and not just like 2 gigabytes, which helps the game run a lot more smoothly. It's amazing how much of a difference it makes. But, um... So just let that load up. Um, at the beginning it'll look like it's windowed, but after it loads up a little bit better, um, it should go into complete full screen. Just wait for it. There we go. So, now it might be a little um, shaky right now, but um, sorry I'm in Camtasia Studio, not Fraps. So yeah um, you now have all your mods installed and it should work perfectly I'm not gonna start a new game and I don't have anything to load because I just deleted my saves so um, yeah I hope this helped you in any way possible and um, I hope that you have a nice day as well so peace out